And these very scriptures speak about me, yet you are not willing to come to me in order to have life. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, a few years ago during one of our feast day preparations in the seminary, we had invited all our friends and well-wishers for the feast. And so in order to serve them meal, we had to get down tables from the refectory to the open courtyard so that we could serve the people there. The table was a two-piece structure where the leg separated from the top. We carried the leg of the table first and then the top ply that we placed over the legs. When we were trying to place the first ply on the first set of legs, we realized that it was not the one for this set. And as we were placing it down, another brother came who did not witness what we just did. He began to argue with us that this top ply was for this set of legs. We tried to explain to him that we just tried it out and that it clearly did not match it. But he was adamant and refused to let us move till we tried out once again. We had to literally once again place the ply over the legs to make him convince that it was not the one. Today the passage says these very scriptures speak about him and yet we are not willing to come to him. Very often we behave like that particular brother with regard to our belief in the Son of Man, that is Jesus. We have read so much about him and heard so much about his wonders, which continues to take place across the world. But my dear brothers and sisters, we still behave like some of the Jewish authorities unable to be convinced because we haven't experienced him ourselves. I would blame this on two main reasons. First and foremost, it is because of our ego which could cloud our minds from the truth, which is exactly what Jesus is trying to point out to the Jewish authorities. Their own knowledge of God had clouded their minds from the truth taught to them through Moses, hence unable to see the Messiah. Secondly, we could blame it on the lack of openness to the Holy Spirit that caused to the blindness to know who Jesus is and that he is the one who has come to save us all. This day, we are all called to put aside our ego and open ourselves to the Lord with the help of the Holy Spirit and then we will be able to see Jesus as he is or else we will be continually be clouded and won't be able to see Jesus through the scriptures like Jesus said at the beginning and these very scriptures speak about me yet you are not willing to come to me in order to have life we too may end up like the Jewish authorities knowing about God, but not knowing His Son in our day-to-day -day living. Amen.